most of you know that there's going to be a G20 meeting today, the 24th to the 25th, where they're going to discuss the global economy, and they're going to they're going to discuss rules and regulations on all countries on how to make this economy work for the best of the for the best for everybody. That's what we are led to believe, you know. But you know, it makes me wonder how these major meetings are taking place now. And I just found out the uh, on the twenty second of September, a few days ago, that Obama met with one of the leaders of of the Middle East to discuss a plan to have peace over there. According to that, the when the when if you look at it in biblical terms, when they talk about peace, war breaks out immediately. That's what the Bible says. Whenever they talk about peace, so that's just that's a sign to see what's going on. And then now on the twenty fourth to twenty fifth, Obama is is gonna be leading these meetings, or he's gonna be the main the main guy in charge, because he. Just got the title of the chair security chairman of the UN, so he's he. I think he got the, the highest title there. So everything is telling everything's telling me what the Bible is becoming reality now. These prophecies are coming to it to reality, and the Bible says that. That the beast keep power unto the image of the beast to declare war against the saint. You know? So what what to just to explain it better is that United States is gonna lead the war, but it's gonna be manipulated by the Pope. And those popular religions out there are gonna unite, church and state will unite. The church, the popular churches, all the major churches already have sold out their faith, like Judas. They're going to unite. They're going to unite with the state. Most likely they already did, but they haven't made it official. So when this happened, the United States military, who is the state, is going to use all armed forces to enslave its people. And this is what I see now with the G24 to the 25th that Obama is having the total power there and whatever is discussed there is going to affect all of us and I believe the persecution will lead after whatever they decide if they if they don't they'll decide but they will they're going to enforce it with laws whenever they, they come up whatever ruling or whatever law they're going to come out tomorrow in the 25th so it makes me think I'm just being alert up there and I want most people in I want to just warn people that this could be it this could be the final step for them to start enslaving us in a, in a way of enslaving us it will be with those laws they're talking about forced vaccinations they haven't really enforced it yet but pretty soon they're going to they're gonna require it in everybody in another way they, they're gonna force it on you. They, it's not gonna be forced, but pretty soon it will be. Okay, just a little example of that. Here in my state, I used, I was looking in the classifieds in the newspaper, and the and they they are talking about there about this agency um, staffing medical resources hold on let me see if I have the document here it says uh, medical the community needs you it says contact assignments gain public health experience we are currently recruiting for the Saddle Nevada, Nevada Health District H1N1 flu clinic project you know it's, it talks about there they, they are they are gearing up they're gearing up into into vaccinating and they're opening clinics like this 
and they are gonna be just there vaccinating all day that's all they're gonna be doing vaccinating people with this poison that is the the swine flu and by doing this they're gonna infect the innocent people the Bible says that these people are planning conspiracies against the innocent blood so they're gonna go there they're gonna they're gonna infect the innocent civilians of this state and most likely they're doing the same thing in other states open up opening up clinics and and convince the edu convince most people to work for them people who are educated in the in the healthcare and they're gonna be vaccinating innocent people who don't really know better they just believe that the medis medical establishment is here to help everybody they're gonna you know, they're gonna poison the innocent and by doing that they're gonna infect them and then because there's gonna be a lot of infection going on a lot of people who are gonna be with that virus are gonna be spreading it to other people so then the government will declare a medical emergency so they're gonna start doing vaccine quarantines everywhere and then they're gonna this is what I think what I see coming they're gonna start quarantine areas and then putting people into the putting them and taking them to the camps it's incredible how this lie has generated so much attention and another thing they got me really interesting about the swine flu there's a movie that came out on the September September 4th 2009 it's called Carriers I got a friend um, I got an email from another one of my friends uh, on YouTube saying to watch this movie and I was looking at it and he's talking about masks it spread like an outbreak in the movie and I've been wanting to see it but no, none of the theaters here in Vegas or the surrounding areas or like Reno you know or Bakersfield or anywhere I couldn't find it I couldn't even see the movie so I bet you they they don't wanna spare they they don't wanna spread fear of taking this vaccine because of that movie that is that is telling people that you're gonna be infected and it's gonna be the movie dramatizes the whole event it makes it go to the highest point so if people watch this movie are gonna be afraid of taking the vaccine because it says that it, it says there that it will be a spread through through flu you know it's like a flu pandemic and I cannot see the movie I, I, I've been looking online to see if I could see it and gone to the theaters I've been looking everywhere online to see if I could see the movie I guess the people don't want the, the citizens to be informed although the movie is exaggerated but that's they don't want no one to know the truth about that poison the, the H1N1 they, they is just a cover up name for the swine flu that, that was interesting to me to see about that movie like that yes, I want to let you guys know do not fear this man do not fear these people okay let me read a passage from the Bible that gives me encouragement it says I'll just try to say with my own words before I run out of time. It says, Do not fear the man who could harm the body. Fear him who could harm the body and soul. Is there talking about God Almighty? God is in total control. He will defend us. Even if we get a force vaccinated, by force, I mean force. If God wants us to be alive, He will permit permit it, and He will not let us go down with this. But if He doesn't, it's all according to His will. 